Welcome to the orientation for Zoom G150 OEOE. In this orientation, we'll cover the basics of the course, how you can get assistance, and just how the course runs. To start off with, I've already logged within Blackboard and clicked onto the course. And you can see that there's an announcement in here. And it's just a simple welcome message, including times of orientation. So for face-to-face -face orientations, which I do recommend over the video portion. If I click on announcements, that always will take me to this screen. Course orientation will take me to the orientation that you're viewing. And then learning modules is how you get the information for the course. So for example, I'm going to go into the first learning module. You'll notice that all modules for the course are already listed. So there's nothing that gets added throughout the semester. You can start and run with all the material as of day one. So I'll click on module one. In here, you can see that it's, the class is broken up. So you've got purpose. So why are you taking this unit? Objectives. So what will you be learning in this unit? And you can click on the left or you can click on the right. You can see that there's an arrow up there as well. There's a little lecture video for um, several of the units within the course, and that'll just give you um, an opportunity to gain a little bit more instruction. If you are viewing the video within a lab, please make sure you use headphones. And in the OE lab, we have them available for you. Um, if you're not, you can view them anywhere with the video connection. Learning activities. This is how you will learn how to use um, uh, the material. So for example, we have read um, in your text. I have review a presentation. So if you click on the presentation, it'll download a PowerPoint presentation for you. Complete file management worksheet. So for this, you've got a link. So it says to obtain the file, click on the blue link. You'll have to make sure that you save the file to your computer. If you just open the file, it's not saving to um, an obtainable place on your computer. So make sure you do save it, then open it. And then personal computers. So those are the things that you're going to do to learn the material. Click on assessment. And for assessment, ask for the module one hardware and software test, the front desk of the OE's um, lab. So for this, you're going to come into the lab, you're going to ask for this assessment, you're going to take the assessment in the lab. So it's a secure testing environment. Um, and then it'll tell you uh, it's to be taken in the OE lab. This is a closed book assessment. There are some that allow you or actually require you to use your book. So make sure that you're prepared for those assessments. You click on attendance. Attendance surveys are released each week. They must be completed by Monday night at 11.59 p.m., and that is when they are removed. That's set for this semester. Each semester may start on a different date, but it'll be um, reflected within Blackboard. So you click into attendance. We click begin. And I'm working on course materials during week one. This is, includes but is not limited to reviewing course material, completing assigned re readings, completing practice activities, or taking an assessment. So that would be true, and I save and submit. Click OK, and I have submitted my attendance for the week. If you do not submit your attendance, you were not here. It doesn't matter whether you've turned in assessments, if you've come in to talk to your teacher, this is the validator that you've attended class. So make sure you do get this information. If you click on instructor information, you'll see the contact information for your instructor, along with a teaching schedule and office hours below. If you click on OE lab schedule, it'll take you to the OE website and show you the OE lab schedule. Syllabus, of course, takes you to the course syllabus, which I highly recommend to review each portion of to verify that uh, this is a course that you want to continue in along with the policies of, uh, throughout the term. And then Grade Center, which I can't view as an instructor, or at least the same way that you can, um, but it'll show every grade in the class. This is the only grade book. So when you turn in your tests, they'll be graded 
your grade will be entered into Blackboard, and then a copy of that test will be in a file folder within the OE Lab available for you to see. So when you come into the OE Lab, you can just ask the attendant or instructor, um, what is the, uh, where is my test or where is my file folder? They'll point you in that direction and you always have access. So what's different between OE and a standard classroom? OE is a more self-directed study. So you certainly have to have the motivation to complete work um, within a given period of time. For this course, we have one due date, which is um, near the end of the term. The due date is listed on your syllabus. It is not the final date of the term, so make sure that you're aware of that. Um, and between now and then, you've got the flexibility to work on the course at your own rate. We highly recommend that you follow um, a much more reasonable schedule that we have listed in the syllabus, as this will um, space the work out for you. You do not want to be one of the students that waits the last week of the term to try to start a course. Um, to do 15 weeks worth of work within two days, of course, seems unreasonable and it shows in your grades. Um, and learning is lost. So make sure that you do work ahead. The real advantage of OE is that you've got an individual study you have the open entry lab open its normal hours during the week where you can get assistance at any time. So you've got one-on-one face-to-face -on -one -face instruction available and you can work ahead in the class. You can complete this class as quickly as possible. Um, so you do have um, some great flexibility here. Uh, and it tends to work best for those uh, working adults. Uh, who are unable to, to meet a traditional schedule, or those that travel. This course consists of um, a variety of assessments, a variety of practice activities, which we do not collect the practice activities, we only collect the assessments, um, and the face-to-face the -face instruction as needed. So if you're very comfortable with, let's say, the Word unit, you might be able to complete that on your own, and then you might have to really heavily rely on face-to-face -face instruction for the Excel unit. Um, and that's okay. That's what we're here for. So welcome to CLG 150 OEOE, and uh, please let me know of any questions.